All right, had a rainy day. Uh, been sick for a couple weeks. Got a couple knives that I, I've got ready to take the heat treat, but I've been sick, so I haven't been able to get over there. And of course, this is a holiday weekend, so I probably won't be able to get them there then. But I got two knives that I got for, made for some boys that hopefully I'll get them uh, turned out here in the next week or two. You got to wait till after the holidays to go get them heat treated, I guess. But I was working on these two that I had. They're already were already heat treated and stuff, and been sitting in the shop for a long time. And this one is a long time ago when I first started making knives. I got frustrated. I, w I was grinding them and I wouldn't get good grinds and it was mess making me mad. And I, of course, when I first started, I was doing a lot of reading and I had got on, I don't even know where I seen it at, but there, it might've been Walt Walter Sorrells that, that I heard him say it, but they define knife making as creating mistakes and, fi and fixing them or ha making mistakes and then fixing them. So, this knife, this this one right here was a pig sticker that I made and I ended up getting a, you can actually still see it right in here. I ended up getting into the side of it with the grinder, went into it and messed it up real bad and just ended up getting some really bad grinds on it. And so I tossed it over on the side uh, in the bin, about ready to go throw it away or whatever. And this handle material is actually a piece that was messed up because the wood that was in it floated up uh, and Rob Carper actually, I went to go pick up some scales from him one day and he had that there. My son was going to make a machete and he gave me the material for my son and we actually ended up having a little bit left over and it's been sitting in my box, but it was a two pieces that were different thicknesses and, and the, on this side, the actual wood was sticking up out of the, uh, out of it. And it, it just a, basically a piece of trash. Most people threw it away again, mistakes, and then end up turning them into a knife. And that's what this one will end up being. Once I get the handle finished, uh, get the, the brass polished up and everything, I'll go back and I'll get, and I'll flat grind all this out and get all of that out and then turn this piece that was basically two pieces of trash into a, a, a good knife for somebody. Uh, and this one, I made one for a buddy of mine, Brandon Holloway. And when I got done with it, I did not want to send it to him. I wanted to keep it, but He's bought several of my knives. I've known him since we were kids and, and I wouldn't do that to him anyway, but it just, that knife turned out so beautiful. It was, it was this style, but it had a, the handle material was, I believe it was a white pearl and black uh, pine cone with the, the pine cone was dyed red and a uh, dude, it was just a gorgeous knife. And so I had this one done and I've had it heat treated sitting on the bench for a while. And I decided to go ahead and put it together. And, and this material I bought from Rob a long time ago but it's just a red and a yellow swirl, but it's got a lot of pearl in it. I don't know how well you can see it in there, but it is gorgeous. But so I figured now I got me a knife because I've only, I only own one other than this one that I'm planning on keeping. I only own one other knife that I made. Every time I get them made, somebody ends up coming by and buying them. And I keep saying, I'm gonna make me one, I'm gonna make me one. Well, I made this one for me, but just like all the other ones, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna come around and say, hey man, how much you want for that knife? And then I'll end up selling it. And of course I have to end up making me another one that eventually it'll get sold too. So, but anyway, just wanna let y'all know what I was getting up to, uh, that I am still posting stuff and that I am still making some knives periodically. I don't do it full time. I just do it whenever I, I get a chance to do it because I don't want to get burnt out on it. I enjoy doing it and I feel if I do it all the time that I'd get burnt out on it and I wouldn't enjoy it anymore. But anyway, hopefully I'll get some pictures of the other two knives that I'm working on for those guys and get them out in a couple weeks.